Hey, yeah, uh, I thought I'd just throw up a quick video again, nothing too fancy. I'm uh, starting the channel actually a bit more um, focused in the new year, if you thumbnails or anything like that. Uh, just got partnership not too long ago, so I'm working on the weekly game plan because hopefully videos are going to be up weekly. Uh, don't want to go into too much more detail. What I do want to focus on though is don't throw out that CRT. Now, um, kind of in a similar vein to um, uh, Steve Benway's Show Us Your Telly. I've, I've shown mine actually in response, but uh, CRTs are not as outmoded as you think. Now, for example, this is a Toshiba color stream. I'm, I'll put up the um, actual model number in a few uh, seconds through the magic of post. Yeah, there it is. But what this is, this is a CRT that was made around 2006. Now, my folks got rid of this one about two years ago. They, um, they um, went and got a new flat panel, Samsung 46 inch. And, um, you know, there was totally nothing wrong with it, so I took it with me when I did my move. It banged around right the back of a trailer. Got a couple of battle scars here. This thing used to be Mac, and it's got that. And Got some scrub marks from it rubbing against uh, a few different things. Now, this TV does um, coaxial, composite, S video, and uh, component. Now, the component I was reading up on the tech specs is actually not processed by the same hardware as the composite and S video. It's actually separate. And um, I'll run through this really fast. And as you can see, because I got stuff connected in the front, every single source is being used. Now, just to show, this is. Um, local over-the-air NTV. Um, it's an um, independent station that runs a lot of global and uh, CTV programming. Uh, they have not shut down all their transponders yet because a lot of people still use it. But anyway, that's over-the-air. Um, I'm going to throw in a quick picture, and that's what I'm using for over-the-air. I will put a description in the uh, in the description. I'll put a link in the description of uh, the antenna uh, and the uh, tutorial that I found on the website that I also contribute to. And this thing also works fine for uh, HDTV. I use just coaxial and a couple other things and um, just threw an old tripod and uh, just it in. And people tell me that here in town they can't get a hold of an NTV signal. I made this and I put it on the tripod out on the lawn and ran a wire to the access panel and yeah, pulling it in fine in here. It'll be even better if I can get it up on the roof. But without further ado, let's turn the volume back on. Let's switch through now. This is coaxial. This is uh, video one now. This is through S video. I'm using it as a uh, separate monitor, uh, second secondary monitor. I'm probably going to use set this up so I can do some uh, PC emulation of like older games or box boxing because the TV is about the right uh, resolution especially for playing old CGA games and such. Uh, secondarily, there's a uh, there's my uh, Xbox 360 that we um, actually this is through composite. I'm gonna just do a quick flick. Um, picture isn't bad, but um, that's just through composite now. You'll see in a second. Now that's Mario Kart 64, the Nintendo 64 through composite, video 3, but the 360 through color stream, which is their proprietary name for their compo uh, component, is like night and day. There's no um, no color bleeding, there's no uh, little scan lines or interference or anything like that. Now it's still CRT, so if you look close enough you'll see little lines because this is an interlaced uh, display. This isn't a progressive scan display, but the colors pop more, it looks so nice and shiny, and I'm playing Fallout 3 a lot on here, and I gotta say that it's, it's impressive. I, when I'm in-game in Fallout 3, I, I've swapped uh, between the composite and component, and it's, it's night and day. You can pick up details that are better, it's sharper, the contrast is better, because with composite, Everything to do with the video signal is on one wire. Both component, I believe it's chroma, luma, and 
contrast, I think. So, you know, there's three different parts of the video signal that are split up onto three different wires, so therefore they're not interfering with each other, and it's delivering a lot nicer of a picture. But yeah, if you got a CRT, especially if it's uh, got component input, don't get rid of it. Uh, I actually do most of my gaming on this. I do have an HDTV in the living room. It's not the biggest one, you know, I'll probably get a bigger TV later on. But uh, I just sit in my armchair here and I, I play away, and usually just run through the capital wasteland. And yeah, I really, really enjoy it, and cock a doodle doo. So yeah, just a little tip, you see a nice CRT, don't toss it, you know, keep it out of the landfill, give it a good home, this one, like I said, this was only made in 2006, so this is like, six years old maybe, which is not very old when you think about it, that was back when flat panels were, you know, starting to become the vogue for pretty much any kind of uh, TV, but, you know, these CRTs, especially when you're doing retro gaming, there's no comparison. Pixels that make it look blown out and everything like that. And there's just something about that. You know. It'll never look that good in that brilliant. CRT, I find color just pops more. It just looks nicer. It doesn't look as washed out. When you play it on a flat panel, it's just... Like, look at how brilliant and lush the color is. You don't get that on a on many flat panels. Some people say, well, it does look good on flat panels, but yeah, no, no comparison. So, yeah. There's just no, no real way of getting around it. It's, it's just a lot nicer. And yeah, so that's my, uh, that's my thing. Uh, follow me in the new year channel will be becoming a bit more dedicated and a bit more uh, clean professional looking. But I thought I'd just throw this one. Thank you.